Well, the first thing that we're going to show is a normal split that we use to treat a, a, a not displaced fractures to keep it just in one position uh, and to relieve pain in patients that has a fracture. Uh, this splint goes from the uh, tip of the metacarpal down the arm, going around the elbow, and back to the metacarpal area. First, we take uh, the tubular uh, around the arm. We take a little longer over the arm. We make a small incision to take the thumb out. And we place it around the arm. You have to cover over the elbow and to leave the thumb away. Then we use some padding going around at the wrist to protect it, then around the hand, and then not very much tissue, just one a, a, a small cap around and to the elbow. In the borders, we use a little more for protections around the, the cast. Then we take a, a not too big cast in order to avoid the thing to get in together around the arm. And we start from the metacarpal area, going around the elbow and back. And you have like uh, the length that you need. You do it uh, for around eight layers of cast in order to get this kind of tissue. Then you place it in water and we take it out and try to dry it a little. This also uh, get all of the layers together. It doesn't have to be very wet. You see, we can take out a lot of water. So it's a little dry. This also uh, takes less time and to get very hard. Now we place the tip of it over the uh, border of the metacarpal area and going around. When you have this kind of, uh, of cast, you see, you leave these areas without cast in order to avoid problems with compression because of edema. The water, as we told already, doesn't have to be very hot. You need only a little warm water or cold water. Uh, you have time to do this. You have to take your time for good, make a good cast. You can take the border over the cast to protect the fingers, up and down. And then with a, 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 another tissue, you go around with this gauze and get all together in order to uh, make this construct more stable. It doesn't have to be very tight. and it's already done. This type of cast uh, helps us to prevent some breast flexion and extension and also avoids frontal subination. So it's a very uh, easy to use cast uh, that keeps problems away uh, and is very well tolerated by the kid.